and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Should be back at the palace in time for breakfast, Adam. Good thing, too. I'm so hungry, my stomach's grumbling. It isn't grumbling that much. The Wind Raider's losing power. Are we out of fuel? We've got plenty. We're just losing power and the engines have stopped. We're falling. I'd better handle this as He-Man. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> yourself, man-at-arms. Man-at-arms, drop the cable from the Wind Raider. Here I go. The Wind Raider feels like it weighs a ton. <laughs> then again, it does weigh a ton. Yeah, that was quick thinking, He-Man, using the grappling cable to break our fall. Are you all right? Maybe I'm a little out of shape. It took all my strength to catch the Wind Raider. <laughs> With your strength, it should have been easy. I know. It doesn't make sense. And neither does the Wind Raider's engine stopping. What do you suppose caused it? We'll have to get it back to the palace and pull it apart to find out. E-Man, that tree, it was perfectly healthy when we left this morning. No, it's completely withered. It's falling toward the council chamber. And the room is filled with people. Good work, E-Man. How's your strength holding up? I feel weaker than ever. Well, let's get the Wind Raider into the lab and see if anything's wrong with it. I don't think you will find anything wrong with it. I think there's something very strange going on here. Whew. That thing's getting heavier and heavier. Maybe I should become Prince Adam again. No. Oh, if something really is wrong, your powers may be needed. Hey! Man at arms, you got a cure for fizzled magic? <laughs> well, I don't think there's any known cure for your magic, Orko. No, I'm serious. I'm, oh, I'm weak and I, I can't get anything to work. Look. Magic powers far and near. Make this beaker disappear. <sighs> See what I mean? Took all my strength just to do that. Oh, and that didn't even do anything. And it isn't just me. It seems to be happening to everyone in the palace. Let's check out the Wind Raider. Oh. If 
find anything wrong? It's in perfect working order. The fuel's fine, yet the engines won't even turn over. And I... I'm getting weaker. Oh. Everybody's growing weaker. And the, the trees are withering, and, and the machines won't run. It, it just doesn't add up. What's the missing element? I, th I think I've got it. Why isn't the gas catching fire? Well, there can only be one answer. It takes two things to create a fire. Fuel, such as the gas, and oxygen. Without oxygen, no fuel can burn. Somehow, the amount of oxygen in the air of Eternia is being lowered. I understand that, man-at-arms, but why would that make us weak? Because human beings use oxygen to burn the fuel we eat and drink, just as machines do. That's why we must breathe. But how? And why could this be happening? If you don't know, there's, there's only one other person in all Eternia who might know. The sorceress. I'd better find her before it's too late. Too bad I couldn't have taken one of the vehicles, but none of them are working. <laughs> uh, I'm almost too weak to run. All the trees in the evergreen forest seem to be withering. I, Better hurry. All this exertion is making me weaker with each step. I've got to make it to Grayskull. I've got to castle Grayskull. But, but the devil, the jawbridge is, it's wide open. The castle's unprotected. Hey, man, I would have sent for you, but I could not. My powers grow weaker by the minute. Man-at-Arms says that the oxygen content of Eternia's air is lowering. That's what's weakening all of us. Do you have any idea what might be causing it? Perhaps. Did you notice anything strange on your journey here? Yes, the evergreen forest is withering. Ah, then I may have the answer. Deep in the heart of the Mystic Mountains lies the Sea of Eternity. It feeds a river which supplies the vine jungle and the evergreen forest with water. These two great forces, in turn, supply Eternia's air with oxygen. Wait a minute. How do plants provide oxygen? You know that all animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Yes. Well, all plants take in carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. That is why plants and animals need each other to survive. Someone or something must be cutting off the water supply to the forest at its source, at the Sea of Eternity. You, He-Man, must go and set things right. The whole planet is in terrible danger. So, that's what she told me. Well, I'm sure she's right. But how will I get to the Sea of Eternity? I had to practically drag myself to the palace from Castle Grayskull. Wait, I have an idea. Here, breathe this in. Oh, I feel better. <sighs> My strength's back. Man at arms, what is this? It's a new underwater breathing device I've been working on. It's the only one I've made. You must make more and get them to the rest of the people. How? Oh, there's not enough oxygen left to put in the others. No, you're our only hope, He-Man. Take the oxygen and head for the Mystic Mountains. Someone must be cutting off the water supply to the forests. And I'll bet that someone is Skeletor. With the rest of us weakened, he could take over the whole planet with no resistance. But he wasn't counting on this. A warning, He-Man. Guard that canister above all else. Without it, you'll be powerless against Skeletor. And use it sparingly, as if it were water in the desert. Once the oxygen in that canister runs out, there won't be any more. I understand. Go. All of Eternia is counting on you. The Mystic Mountains. Perhaps this tunnel will lead through to the Sea of Eternity. Uh-oh. Now which way do I go? Somehow I've got the terrible feeling I'm lost. Intruder! I did.
don't know what you are doing here, but this is as far as you go. Who is the strange intruder? How ugly he looks! He has no shell! Disgusting! We thought he might have something to do with the disaster that threatens our hive. What disaster are you referring to? Our race hatches new eggs only once every 50 years, and it is time for the new brood to be born. But our eggs do not glow as they should. It's as though all of the life has been drained out of them. If they do not hatch, our race is doomed. Come, strange sorcerer, out with it! What manner of spell have you cast on us? I'm no sorcerer. My name is He-Man. I am on a journey to stop this danger which threatens your hive and the whole planet. Lies! The ugly one seeks to deceive us! My people are suffering as you are. And why should we believe the word of someone as hideous as you? No, Shama. Let us not judge this one by his strange looks. No doubt we look strange to him. I am Garth. What do you intend to do? I must find the Sea of Eternity. I believe someone is draining it and taking away the planet's oxygen in the process. I intend to stop whoever is doing this. I believe you. I will help you. No, Garth! Shaman, it's our only hope. A tremor! The eggs will be crushed! should hold up the ceiling for now. You... you saved our hive! I knew I was right about you, friend. And you are truly loyal, Garth, putting yourself in danger to save the eggs. Now, let us hurry to the Sea of Eternity, as friends! What's the point of us standing guard for Skeletor, anyway? <laughs> By now, everyone else on the planet must be too weak to move. <laughs> Good thing we've got these canisters of oxygen to give us strength. Yeah, the air's so thin that nothing could get past us now. We hardly ever need these paralyzer rays. Speaking of which... I'm starting to feel weaker. Time for some more oxygen. Wait a minute. I thought I saw something. A monster! Stay back or you'll get this. I'll take that if you don't mind. He-Man! Oh no! My strength is gone! You can't sneak up on me. I can see anywhere. No! You won't succeed, He-Man. Skeletor will stop you. They're too weak to cause us any more trouble. All the more reason for us to hurry. Imagine how weak the rest of the planet must be by now. Strange how those two thought I was a monster when they themselves look so strange to me. It just goes to show you shouldn't be fooled by appearances. After all, your friend Shaman thought I was pretty ugly. Listen, do you hear that? Come on. Water from the Sea of Eternia being pumped into that pit. We must hurry.
The river which feeds the evergreen forest has been dammed up. And the sea of eternity has almost no water in it. There's the answer. Just as I thought. <laughs> Soon the sea of eternity will be completely drained. Eternia's oxygen supply will be cut off. Skeletor. He is the one who is endangering my people's unhatched eggs? Yes, and the rest of the planet as well. We must be careful. He's crafty and very dangerous. I am not afraid. Let's go stop him. Nothing will stand in the way of my ruling Eternia. I'm ruling over Castle Grayskull at last. Wrong again, Skeletor! He-Man! So, you made it past my henchmen! No matter. Within minutes, my pumping machine will have completely drained the Sea of Eternity's waters! Then nothing will stop me! That's what you think! <laughs> Is this the only ally you could find to fight against me? A hideous... insect? A crawling, ugly... bug? He may look ugly. But he's got more heart, courage, and beauty inside him than you could ever hope to have, Skeletor. Ah, enough of this. You must be maintaining your strength the same way I am. My attractor beam will take care of that. Oh, no! Uh, Easy, He-Man. Don't overexert yourself. It'll only weaken you more quickly. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm weak. That's it, He-Man. Kneel before your new master. If I could somehow clog up that pump. That's it, He-Man. Crawl to me. Yes, that's all you'll ever do from now on. You, insect, what are you doing? Uh. A fool, what does he think he's... He's jammed a pump. Temporary setback at best. The reverse switch. I've got to find it. I can have this fixed in minutes. He-Man, your ugly friend sacrificed himself for nothing. No sacrifices for nothing, if it helps other people, Skeletor. And your selfishness will be your own undoing. Feel my my strength returning. You may have stopped me, but you won't get me. Garth, is it really you? It is, friend He-Man. It could take hours to pump all that water back, and there's still one problem: the dam. Thank you, my friend. But what do you suppose transformed you like this? I'm not sure, but I think that this is the form my people will evolve into in centuries to come. The Sea of Eternity is rich in oxygen. Your swim must have speeded up the process. Perhaps. They say its waters have many unusual powers. Those waters will revive the evergreen forest, and Eternia's oxygen will be replenished once more. And that means my people's eggs are about to hatch. I must hurry back to the hive. Come, my friend. We will go together. And the insect people have promised to guard the Sea of Eternity from now on. Then what happened today will never happen again. Hey, everybody. I got my magic back. 
I'm sure you have, Orko. Everything's back to normal. I'll say. Watch this. Mystic powers far and near make the speaker disappear. Funny, it worked perfectly last week. <laughs> yes, things certainly are back to normal around here. Thanks to you, Adam. Don't thank me. Thank Garth, my noble friend. Today we met Garth, who to some people looked like a monster. But Garth wasn't a monster. He was a good person with a noble soul. And in the end, his beauty showed through. Real beauty comes from inside, which is why ugly people can sometimes be the most beautiful people to know, and why people who look beautiful sometimes act very ugly. Being beautiful on the outside is all right, but being beautiful on the inside, that's the best.